Hi, Jamie Day here. I am coming to you from Chesterfield County, Virginia, in the wonderful Midlothian area. And I am, well first, I want to thank you for clicking onto this video. I'm sure there are other things that you could be doing right now, but you decided to tune in with me. And I appreciate that. Um, the purpose of me being here or making this video today is to share a great book that I stumbled across. And it is called Oneness. And this book is written by Jeffrey Moses and it has an introduction and a special prayer by Mother Teresa. And the book is uh, Oneness, Great Principles Shared by All Religions. So in the, I guess in the vein of realizing the importance of understanding that we are all connected, I want to share this just to kind of show principles that are similar among different religions that still hold the same moral fabric. And today's principle that I will be sharing is called wisdom is more than riches. Wisdom is not a vague quality of mind. It is not a mood of resignation or detachment. Wisdom is a combination of experience and awareness that gives great dynamism <laughs> to every activity undertaken. It is the inner strength intuitive creativity and mental power wisdom allows a person to evaluate experiences of the past in a clear and orderly manner so that he can avoid further mistakes it allows a person to look so deeply into present activities that glimpses of the future can be seen it is the fullest seeing wisdom is the state of consciousness Wisdom dawns when a person experiences the connection of his or her individual awareness with the infinite. Then life is lived in the light of God and all of his undertakings are completely successful and fulfilling. So wisdom is more than riches. Is It brings me to the story of Solomon mentally. Uh, Solomon was considered to be one of the most wise um, men in the Christian Bible and Solomon got or obtained his wisdom by asking God directly. God, he could ask God for anything and he just said, God, make me wise or I would like to be wise so that I can serve you properly. And that was like honestly the smartest thing that anyone can ever do is to not to ask for money you know you can have you know a billion dollars a trillion dollars and if you don't have the wisdom to properly manage those resources then they can easily be gone <laughs> as quick as you got them should I say and so wisdom I believe or I know is is, is very important and wisdom is not something that you just stumble up onto overnight. It takes, um, it takes thought. It takes reflection. It takes um, consideration. There's a lot of things that go into place in order to obtain wisdom. Uh, so I'm going to sh share the principles that are among other religions that um, have the same value that wisdom is is more than riches in Islam. Riches are not a form. <laughs> Wisdom, riches are not from an abundance of worldly goods, but from a contented mind. Mm, truth, truth. Christianity. Lay upon for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. I said that completely wrong. Let me start over. I think I said it wrong. I'm just going to start over just for good measure. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor dust or rust corrupt and where thieves do not break through or steal for where your treasure is 
there your heart will be also. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so in Buddhism, the real treasure is that laid up by a man or woman through charity and piety, temperance and self-control and treasure thus hid is secure and does not pass away. In Judaism, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather than silver? And in Hinduism, knowledge is the best treasure that a man can secretly hoard in life. Learning is the reverend of the reverend. It is learning alone that enables a man to better the conditions of his friends and relations. Knowledge is the holiest of the holiest and God of the gods and commands respect of crowned heads. Shorn of it, man, but an animal. And that's awesome. So I hope you find this content to be useful. Uh, if you would like to find me, you can find me on Instagram only. And on Instagram, my name is Penupish, and that's P-I-N-U-P-I-S-H, like kind of pen up. Uh, and if you would like to hire me or book me, you can book me. Um, and you can book me by going to my other Instagram page or the other Instagram page, which is home is jones and that's h-o-m-e-i-s-j-o-n-e-s -E -E and on there you will find um a link to our website you can follow us and you will find a link to our website and then you click through that website and contact us through the website um thank you so much for your time thank you for being here and remember god is love au revoir